Hey everybody and welcome to Castle in the Darkness. And essentially this is a very retro looking game. Just, uh, you know, hailing or calling out past games. Doing shout outs of it, whatnot. And we just happen to be in the Kingdom of Alexandria, if I read that right. And one dark and gloomy night, King Elmore II grew ill. And Princess Peach, worried about her father, Princess Isabel, had the royal guard ready to do stuff. The guards, not expecting anything more than a common illness, took their positions. Until... Until... Then suddenly, they were wrong and shit hit the fan. Armies of monsters attacked the castle. The royal guard tried to fight, but they were all defeated by the monsters. All but one. Us. So very cool game. Um, expect a lot in this game. But other than that, very cool uh, soundtrack. I mean, this one is very, you know. There we go. Thank you. Getting some money from these people. And I can't reach up there. That sucks. But uh, very basic uh, controls, you know. The city has been overrun by monsters, so you'll see a lot of shoutouts from, uh, you know, older NES games and whatnot. And it's possible to climb some roofs, and essentially, you know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something we can acquire that's a, that allows us to actually um, reach that area. Controlling for this game is pretty uh, pretty tight overall. Not much to really complain about. A lot of oddities going on here, though. A lot of oddities in reference... Uh, to like how some cutscenes work. It's like you'll have like some uh well for this guy here you just uh hit back the projectiles of course it hit me and I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah 100 well 153 times is how much I died in the other playthrough. But um overall though this boss is pretty easy for the most part. Oh you just have to deflect his uh, projectiles away from him. And uh, yeah, just be pretty damn careful about it. And of course, you have to be at the angle to actually... There's uh, projectiles, of course. How stupid. Alright, so let's try this again, shall we? So... It's like not really tough, it's just I'm just being stupid about it. And just one more hit, and every time you go underneath him, he uh, does his special attack, and there we go, he's dead. So after killing any boss, you get a bunch of money, and you get a boss hard up. So additional HP. I don't know why I'm treating this like a playthrough or a game, well, some kind of a uh, guide because, well, hold jump and landing on bri uh, breaking blocks to bounce higher. And such as, uh, it's pretty easy as that. So very high energy uh, music at the beginning here, and it does change the further you go into the game, much as uh, the enemies do, and different pallet swaps and whatnot. All the stuff you would expect from uh, retro video games. And of course, he hit me. How can he hit me? Alright, so if you go back, I think... Isn't there anything really around here? Nah, probably not. So many bullets can be hit back at him, blah blah blah. I don't know why I misread that, but... It's all in the nature of whatever, I guess. But yeah, um, that's news, well, information we could have used earlier, but... I already played through this a little bit, so I have an idea of what's going on for the most part. I only got through 28% of the game so far, though. Oh yeah, and that's right, I like the reference that they have in this game. Uh, you attack the chicken a bunch, and if you've ever played uh, Legend of Zelda, then you'll be, you'll understand this attack, which is beat the shit out of the guy because he's uh, attacking a helpless chicken. Who would have thought? I like that, it was a nice uh, throwback. And I'm so dead in like one more turn. I'm pretty sure of it. 
Oh, okay, there we go. So if you have... How much is this? Isn't it 100? Yeah, let's do that. I think I forget something that... Hey, you get this nice little cutscene. I was thinking if they had the Final Fantasy, like, uh... End music that played in it. That'd be pretty cool. I'm talking about, like, the original Final Fantasy. Not like, uh, you know... Anything else. Not, no remakes or any shit like that. It's, uh, just the original. Some bosses have a weak spot, like their eyes or their heads. And if you have, like, a hundred, you can get the wrong sword. So I think that's what we're going to do quickly. Just because, uh, it's going to make the boss fight pretty easy. Or a lot easier, I should say. So you want to, you know, kind of fight this guy a couple times. An easy way to get five gold or silver. And he only takes a couple hits to kill, so... And you get two, I guess, coins from him. Guess I might as well just refer to him as that. And one more hit, and we should have enough. There we go. Easy hundred coin, and now we can get our wrong sword. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy, and equip it. Longer range to it, so it actually enables us to, uh... I hate those birds. And they show up later in the game also. And, uh... There we go. I mean, my method was a little bit more sloppy than, um... There we go. I just want to go backwards and kind of, uh, save again. Just because if I take one more hit, then I'm gonna surely die. And then I'd have to redo all this progress that I just made. So, you know, if anything, once you beat a boss or something, immediately go back to a save point. If you're in the position to do so. And let's see, what's this area? Oh, okay, yes, that's right, uh, the Ares Gauntlet. I forget what that can do, at, actually. I think you can, uh, move blocks, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on that. Not like I expect you to quote me on that, though. There we go. A little sharpshooter. And have I been here before? I don't know. A very nice, you know, charming retro game. It's very easy to control, I would say. Or at least, you know, it makes me happy. Nice controls. Cannot complain. Museum key? Dude. Just, like, risked my life for that. And I always, like, overstep myself sometimes. I have that uh, tendency to make that mistake. It's just, you know, you make the jump and you land on the platform, but for some reason you still, you still manage to jump or move forward just a little bit more. I mean, you don't mean to, but I don't know, it's just, I don't know. It's just something that happens with uh, retro games, I would say. God knows with Mega Man that happens a lot. Do not enter the sewer pipe, so... Yeah, if you jump right there, then you're gonna die. Yeah, just a bunch of spikes and bubble bobble. Oh, you can shoot these too. Hmm. Very easy boss. I mean, you just stand here and when you have the wrong sword, it's just very easy. Because he, anything he shoots at you can be deflected or any bubbles he shoots at you can be popped pretty quickly. So, one of the few bosses that you shouldn't take damage to, really. And let's see here. So, um, yeah, what time am I running at here? Ooh, ooh. I got like these parts. Alright, so now. Ooh, Medusa heads. Well, not. Not quite Medusa heads, though. 
Well, I'm surprised I actually made that. Didn't make that. Oops. Oh, okay. So that was just that was a little nerve wracking, I would say. Huh, okay, you can push crates by hitting them. So yeah, if you just do this, then there you go. Oh, did I go to the top path for? I think I must have, but... Alright, what's over here? Okay, and I was a little too hasty on that one. But I guess we'll keep going this way, I guess. Ow. And these guys, you just hit them and they explode and pretty much free cash. Free cash for the most part. And you fall down and there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we got the whip guy. Very easy to take care of. And a simple mouse who I did die to once. And that was very embarrassing. Oh my god. That's nerve wracking. Just anything like that is nerve wracking. Alright, so let's uh, jump up here. I'm rather curious. Uh, ow. Wow. Okay, well, I got owned by the whip. Who would have thought? Wonder what's in that treasure chest. I'm curious as to what was uh, used to actually uh, develop this game. I don't think it was like Game Maker or anything like that. Well, that would be pretty cool if it was. That's what I'm using to develop my game. And... Anyways, aside from that... Nice little, uh... Ghouls and... Ghosts, I think it's called. I think it's, uh... Ghouls and Ghosts. Horribly, uh... Frustrating game, one that uh, makes you waste your time, you know, playing. Makes you waste your time, essentially. I mean, what? Same paintings can hint at secrets. I mean, a game that makes you get to the end of the game only to make you play the game all over again before you can get to the end of the game. I mean, it's just funny. And he jumps every time you hit him. Uh, well, technically. Ow. And I just got my ass beaten by the skeleton. But essentially that's the way to approach him, is just, um, it's just every time you hit him, he, uh, does jump, but then he'll also jump of his own accord also. So just, uh, be very mindful of that. And use that to your advantage. Wow, damn. Really, you don't have much time in terms of invincibility frames, because... Because, uh, you really don't get much time between hits. That's something to keep, um, keep an eye out on. And I was just being dumb that time. I was just being a little impatient, just because, uh... I mean, I've, I've done this already, so... Do it a couple times, and you don't really... Jeez. So you have to space it out just so uh, careful. I'm already taking hits, a lot of hits. It's just an example of how to go about things here. At this point, you just kind of get a little frustrated, so. Wow, and he just sat. That's great. Alright, so let's just uh, concentrate a little bit here and just uh, stop making so many mistakes. Ow. Ah, oh, it's a frustrating. It's a little frustrating. 
know the guy's attack pattern, yet you just keep screwing it up, though. I mean, really, uh... There we go. Doing pretty be doing a little better this time. Until I open my mouth, though. Ooh, and I just hit it the wrong. Definitely not the thing I did to do here. All right, so let's just do this like we uh, mean business for once. Ow. Stupid skeleton, man. Stupid skeleton. Ow. Man, dude. Seriously, now. You can tell someone's getting restless at this point. Alright, just kill the stupid skeleton. There we go, finally, jeez. Takes a little stupid luck at that point. That's a weird thing, you can still attack when you're in uh, these kind of um, situations. Which I found funny, I mean, you're, you're stuck in place and yet you can do that. Let's see, uh, my name is Lonzo, I built the clock tower. Take this key, I no longer need it. Clock tower key, back to the future. Alright, so let's, uh... Way too easy. And, uh, let's see, what am I doing here exactly? Oh, you can jump over there. And let's see, is there going to be, like, a save point? Jeez. There used to be a mine east of here, but the... Lizard men took it over. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hopefully there's like some save point around here. Wait, does it hit me if I'm right here? No, it isn't. It doesn't. Okay, good. Oh crap, I have to actually hit the switch, I believe. That sucks. Alright, that's good. That went without an issue. And of course... Wow. I think I have to go back and fight this guy again, don't I? I don't know why I didn't uh, just decide to save. Makes no sense. Let's expedite this process a little bit. There we go. That's that's the way I wanted to do it the first time. It's just much more uh much more of a pain than I was anticipating. Alright, so let's uh go ahead and save here because we can. Damn it. Alright, so let's uh make up lost time here and that guy is there for no reason, of course. But we need the key again, so let's talk to this guy. And no longer need it, so bam, give me that damn key, dude. Alright, there we go, just kind of speed run this at this point. And there's nothing to be had on the left side. So no point going there, let's just go to the right and hope we can uh, unlock this store again. There we go, Mr. Ghouls and Goblins again. The annoying guy too. I hate that. Hate that enemy. The passion. All right, so let's just uh, speed run this like it's no one's business, and let's forget about that guy. And of course, of course, he hits me. Enter, and I think it's a pity you can't actually rest on the bed. I'm the hundred-year-old man. 
really. That's enlightening. Oh. Oh, there we go. There's a warp point, but we're not going to be really using that anytime soon. Definitely not anytime soon. And... Oh, this guy's useless, isn't he? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. One coin, then you can kill him. Definitely worth it. Alright, and that you can't actually go into, but it's fine. I know for I don't know, for some reason I'm not all that wild about this song in particular. I'm waiting for my daughter, Sophia. I'm worried about her. You don't say. Not much I can do for you. Alright, so let's save our progress here. And there we go, you just hold down on the jump button and that makes it a little bit easier, or at least you gain some more height. And I think we're going to, into the next area, are we not? Oh, I hate this guy. Oh wow, <laughs> that's actually funny, it is ghouls and goblins, man. This guy himself. Never even noticed that other form he had. Guess I killed him too quick. Oh. Okay, so, I'm the great mage, Marcel. If you plan on going to the old castle, you will need the power of magic. Please accept this gift. And with this, you can cast fire, which just means holding down the attack button. And once you charge up long enough, you can release a fireball. Not sure if there's other magic, but we'll find out, right? And a lousy spike, that thing's got me so many times. Oh yeah, and this boss, that's right. Guess what I like to do is just, um... Just kind of charge up my shot and... Ah. Ow. He actually got me that time, that sucks. And yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Oh. Yeah, the block hits the corner of that little tile, which is, uh, kind of entertaining. Alright, what are you gonna do? Nada. It's a pretty cool boss, though. like it. Super go uh, ghouls and ghosts, man. Three more hits, we got him. We have got him. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting to kill him that quickly. Alright, well that was um pretty awesome. Did not expect to kill him that quick though. Alright, so let's see. Oh, empty. Hmm. Someone stole our treasure. Alexandria and Agro's Forest. Oh, I hate this place. Q Mario Super Mario Brothers 2. Well, it's nice that he's a dreamer, so that's... And a coward, too. I hope there's a point. Oh, thank you! And here's some new music, actually. And uh, Wolfman, that's actually pretty easy. And these birds, I do not like these birds for some reason. It's just the fact that they come out from the sky like that. Oh, just like that, it's just so annoying. And that guy, of course, you yeah, the fact that um, when you kill them, they kind of uh, disperse a bunch of bones in their, uh, in their traces. Wow, okay. Drop silver though, that's pretty good. And he was nothing. Alright, how many hits does this guy take? Too many hits, wow. Alright, now I'm going back to recover my health again, which is so stupid, but... 
is not really going anywhere because I keep getting hit when I really don't want to, but it's my own fault, I guess. So I'm just too uh, impatient. Alright, so a good uh, opportunity to just use magic instead of trying to fight it head on because it takes at least three hits to kill him. And of course, the guy appears right there. But yeah, the, wor the birds are like the worst enemies for me. Go, save point. And I think I definitely should just. Yeah, I think I, at this point I'm just going to save up for now. So in the next episode, we'll keep going in uh, Agro's uh, Forest. And thank you for watching. See you later.